joining us here on the program. Uh, very fortunate to have with us uh, the the captain of the Sprocket. Can we call you captain of the Sprocket? <laughs> you, you can call me captain. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Flight. Tim, how are you? Nice to be here. Uh, that you could be here today. I'm good, thanks. And uh, I'm the dog handler. You're the dog handler, the dog <laughs> trainer. And uh, Sprocket is, uh, well, you can tell us who Sprocket is. Sprocket is what uh, is generically called the track sled. The brand is Snow Dog. Uh, it's a weird looking contraption. It's kind of a cross between a snowmobile and a lawnmower. <laughs> so it's got the track of a snowmobile, but a lot shorter, a lot narrower. And you stand behind it and operate it with handlebars, much like a, a push lawnmower. Yeah. And you groom those trails out. We groom the trails out. What makes a good trail groom? Just packed? Uh, for fat biking, what makes a great trail is something that, as skiers and snowboarders, we would probably call ice. Mm -hmm. uh, the firmer, the better. You know, a nice, smooth, really firm uh, surface. It's almost like pavement. Yeah. One, I learned a lot yesterday getting out and riding great. on the bikes. First <laughs> off, you need to have a good beard. I don't have that. But yeah. other than that, uh, getting out there, it, the, when the skiing is perhaps not as preferable or a little firm, the riding is great. Exactly. Yeah. And, and so it's a great synergy up here. When the skiing is awesome, yeah. uh, the fat biking is probably not going to be great. Yeah. And when the skiing is a little on the firm side, the fat biking is going to be amazing. And it's very good exercise because you, you have to pedal a fair amount to stay balanced. And it staying is. balanced is, is really something that is, uh, is good for a lot of different ages and, and good therapy. Right? And it's great cross-training for most of the other sports that we do up here. Uh, it's great just so that come summertime and you're going to go jump back on your mountain bike, you know, your legs are still fresh. And uh, it's great cross-training and balance for skiing and snowboarding and any other activities you may already be doing. And you dress pretty much the same as if you were going to go cross-country skiing. Yep. Very much so. Uh, the rule of thumb that I like to tell people is when you are starting and leaving the parking lot, if you're a little bit chilly, you're probably adequately dressed because you do generate a lot of heat. And what you want to avoid is getting too hot, starting to sweat, because then you're going to get really cold really fast. During the race, someone came by the finish line and threw their pants that they had stowed in their, in their yes. jacket. <laughs> yes. It's really easy to get warm. Yeah. Now, the other thing thing is that uh, the, the winner of the race, uh, it looked like he had a flat tire, but that was all intentional, right? Um, probably. We run very low tire pressures. In the softer the snow, the lower the tire pressure that we run. Uh, so you might be surprised in an average car, you might run 30 PSI, and also in your mountain bike tires, you might be close to that. Yeah. On a fat bike tire, on days like yesterday when the snow is very soft, a lot of the riders were probably below 5 PSI. Most of them were probably running 3 to 4 PSI in their tires. So they're super soft. Mm -hmm. How long have you been uh, doing uh, winter biking? Um, a couple of years. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of us who are really into biking have tried biking in the winter before the gear was really good. But until companies started producing these big fat tires uh, at reasonable weights and could stick them in a bike frame, what we were doing wasn't very successful. It's really in the last couple of years that the sport has has ballooned. Right, right. Well, Tim, stay with us because we want to talk more about this and talk about a little bit of uh, fat bike etiquette as well and places you can go and uh, uh, some of the rules to follow. So we'll be right back in just a moment with Tim Flight.